Hello. Hello. Oh yes, hi Kathy. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I know when I left the hospital you said I could call any time. And I just, I don't know what to do with this baby. She cries all the time. She won't sleep. I, I can't, I can't get her to eat. And I, I feel really bad because I know it's my fault that she's like this. And, and I just don't, I don't know what to do. What can I do? Okay, well, your child has fetal alcohol syndrome. And there will be some difficult times. It is important for you to be her biggest advocate. Some tips that might help you with the feedings should be like to avoid stimulation during feedings like phone calls and television and loud noises stuff like that you should also allow your child enough time to eat follow a strict routine for your meals and then the infant could be um, encouraged to suck if you tap her mouth you can also try to swaddle her during feedings to help her feel secure sleeping for sleeping you may want to try some soft music or a fan to help drown out any background noise that might help put her to sleep. Um, also, like remove some of the stimuli from the bedroom, like busy wallpaper or like bright colors, and try to keep a steady sleeping schedule. Um, a child with fetal alcohol syndrome will do best in a stable home setting, in a loving, loving, nurturing home. So please have plenty of structure and routine. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll try to calm down, I know. Alright, thank you. Thanks so much. And, and I'll try those. And, and I hope they work. And if not, you know, I'll call you back. So thanks again. Alright. Right. If that's all you need, you can call back at any time. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Hello. Hello? Oh, hi again, Kathy. Hi. Yeah, you know, I really wish um, that you could help me with something. You know, I just don't know what to do with Tara. I mean, she's, she's, she's like a tear. And the school's calling me constantly, and um, my job is on the line. I don't have a lot of time off. Um, I don't know what to do. They're constantly calling me. They want me to come to the school. She's constantly throwing fits. She's getting sent to the principal's office. Um, and the school acts like, you know, they can't help at all. And shouldn't they be trained, you know, take care of kids like this? I'm just, I don't know what to do. I just, I, you know, I just don't know what to do. I'm at my wits and I, I just can't take it anymore. What do you, what do you think? How can, how can I handle this? I understand that you're, that keeping your job is important. So let me see if I can help you put the scenario in perspective. What type of behavior issues is the school calling you about? Uh, what kind of stuff does she do? What doesn't she do? She hits, um, she, she bites, she won't share toys. Um, the, the teacher tries to put her in a timeout or move her away from their children, and then she starts kicking and hitting and screaming. Okay. Well, what you are reporting is not uncommon for children with fetal alcohol syndrome. School is hard for many children, but it can be especially so for children with FAS. Their learning differences and behavioral problems make it difficult for these children to succeed in school. Often, their behavioral problems are not understood and the children are seen as troublemakers. Without special help, these children often get frustrated with their schoolwork and develop poor self-esteem. It is good for the parents to work closely with the child's teachers and other school staff. It is important for you to educate your child's teachers and other school personnel about fetal alcohol syndrome. By doing this, you are being an advocate for your child. It might also be helpful for you to have a developmental evaluation. During this evaluation, they will identify special abilities and the needs of your child. They, these specialists can also recommend educational programs and therapeutic services to help the child learn and develop. They can also help families get in touch with community services and other sources of help. These specialists should also help help you work with the school on a plan that best fits your child. If you contact your pediatrician, they should be able to help you set up a developmental evaluation. Can I help you with anything else today, Kathy? Okay, thanks, thanks so much for your tips. I appreciate it. Okay, call back anytime you need me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Hello. Hi. Yeah. You know, I've got some questions for you. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, Tara's graduating from high school in, you know, about four weeks, and I just don't know what's going to happen to her. You know, I'm 40 years old. I'm, I'm getting old, and I can't take care of her forever. You know, and I know they've been really good to her in high school, and they've been treating her well, you know, and helping her with her disability, but what's going to happen when she goes to college, or can she even go to college? You know, maybe she's just going to have to, um, you know, go on disability and not, you know, be a productive adult. You know, I don't want that for her. So, you know, what's going to happen now? Oh, wow. Tara's 17? Time flies. Yes, it is possible for her to go to college. Some adults with fetal alcohol syndrome have attended college, but it might take them longer to finish their degree. However, many people with fetal alcohol syndrome find vocational schools a good option. Vocational schools are normally hands-on training with some structure, which might work well for her. I would recommend that you talk with your school counselor and find out opportunities for these vocational trainings. You might want to start looking into residential programs or subsidized living arrangements for Tara. You have done a great job with her. It must have been hard for you, but you are both doing great. Okay, all right. Yeah, thank you for your help and thank you for being so understanding. Um, that'll be good. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, there are other sources and, and resources that we can go to and that she will be able to you know, have a productive life. So thank you for reassuring me of that. All right. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, you know the number. Call me with any further questions. Bye, Kathy.